Gamers, Gamers, and Movie Girls, what's going on, guys? I'm the Messiah, this is Messiah Entertainment, and today we are reviewing Don't Breathe. Guys, this newest horror thriller follows three thieves who are trying to leave the city of Detroit by stealing enough money by breaking into houses. They get a tip that $300 can be inside a house, and the best part about it is, a blind guy lives there. Easy money, right? Nope! Shortly after breaking into the house, they realize the guy was a bit more than they bargained for, and soon, they're in for a night of hell. Now the story was good, it was nice and simple, uh, a really easy premise of, you know, these guys break into a house and they bite off a bit more than they can chew. It seems like it's supposed to be an easy heist, in and out, but then shortly afterwards you realize, oh god, this guy looks like Daredevil in the peripheral, you know what I'm saying? From the very first time I saw the trailer, I was kind of interested because it looked really, really cool of a premise. You know, this guy can't see a thing, but you make the slightest sound, you drop a penny, and he's going to be on you. You know, the guy has military training, and you know, all you need to do is make a slight breath, and he's gonna be right on you like that. It makes for some great tension. It doesn't even work on like horror movie rules where you know the person will breathe like and to you know the killer or whatever, that's complete silence. No, if he if you even try to inhale slightly, like a he's coming right after you, and it felt really, really fun. It felt like you were playing something like Outlast for a second because you know you'd have to hide in the corner, you'd have, you'd have to hide in the closet, you have to hide under something and just pray to God that the guy does not hear or see you. As far as the creepy factor goes, this movie did have me on the edge of my seat and that doesn't happen a lot. I mean, I'm not a big horror fan, I say this time and time again, and this movie, I'm not gonna lie, it had me jumping a few times. There are some jump scares, but they never really felt cheap to me. There's one at the very beginning that kind of just catches you off, off guard and it really has nothing else to do with the rest of the atmosphere of the movie, but this movie's jump scares, it feels like it's earned, you know? It feels more natural. It's not just some random thing popping out of nowhere when you didn't expect it. It's like you're expecting something to happen, you're just not sure what, and when he comes out of nowhere like that, you're like, oh my god, that was scary. What also helps make this movie awesome is the acting in this movie. I mean, the three main characters, they do well enough, but who I really have to give it to is the blind guy. Oh my god, this guy absolutely killed it. This dude is so intimidating in just the way he walks around. It's like he can't even see you. But just the way he takes a step forward, just a boom, 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 it's horrifying, honestly. Think about if you were in that situation and a blind guy was running at you in the hallway and you had to duck to the side and be as quiet as possible. He's staring you dead in the face in some scenes. It's like this guy is so creepy. And you know how horror movies can sometimes just come off as so cliche and just people are tripping over their own feet or they're not doing the smartest thing. They use their brains for the most part and they tried to get out every chance that they got. And it was really because the bad guy was so smart in what he was doing that they couldn't get out. So I, I felt like that was really good. There's nothing worse than watching a horror movie where the main character is their own worst enemy falling over their own two feet every five seconds, won't use their brains and not go into the dark shadowy room. I was really impressed by this movie. And the very least I expected to come here and at least just kind of get an interesting story. Not too many scares, but an interesting story and some cool visuals and stuff like that. No, this was an actual genuinely creepy movie and a lot of movies haven't been able to do that in recent times so I was really impressed by this movie and the funny thing is because of how I feel about most horror films I feel like I was kind of waiting in the theater saying all right maybe at this point it'll start to go downhill and my score will start to lower like all the other horror films and that never happened uh, it just continually got better and better as the movie went on so I was really really surprised by this movie and really really happy with it at the end of the day guys I'm gonna have to give this movie and 9 out of 10. The force is strong in this one. Guys, this was a great horror film, a great thriller, and it genuinely actually kind of creeped me out at some points. So I really have to give this movie props. And honestly, this year, 2016, we've seen quite a few good horror films. You know, we've had our bad ones. I mean, we had The Darkness earlier this year. But I mean, The Conjuring 2, Lights Out, and now this, all in the span of what, about two to three months? That's really good. I usually hate most horror films that come out during the year. So hopefully, like I said, this starts a trend of really good horror films. This was really great, and I would definitely recommend you guys go check this movie out as soon as possible. And not Suicide Squad out the uh, box office this week, so definitely go check it out. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys got your own. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of Don't Breathe? Did you love it? Did you hate it? As always, you guys can follow me on Vine, Twitter, Movie by the and Twitch. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. I'm the Messiah. This is Messiah Entertainment. Peace.